Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are, once again, in Final Fantasy XIV. It's been a long time since the last time I made the videos, but, uh, picking up where we left off with Ninja Quest. This time for the, uh, post-50 Heavenward's, Heavensward ones. Uh, you'll notice I'm 54. That's because I was putting it off till I actually got to the point where there was one that I wanted, so that way I could put less time in between videos, because I don't know how long it's going to take me to actually level my ninja. So, yeah. Anyhow, got a different look going on than last time. But let's see what... What's his face has to say? Strangers in a strange land. Kirina, you are welcome. What? You are welcome. Anyhow, I can tell your devotion to our art has been absolute, and I sense that greater power awaits you. But I have no new ninjutsu. Ninjutsu? Ah, screw stick with ninjutsu, it sounds more sense making. You heard me. Uh, but I have no ninjutsu to teach you. You alone can waken the power inside you. But if you do, our art will be in the very beating of your heart. I learned much and more whilst I was a shinobi of Doma. Mayhap you would find your own way if your blades served a master. Such thoughts will have to wait, however. Not minutes before you came through those doors, I received a missive from Jack. He bid me to come to Limsa proper with all due haste. Join me, Katerina. Your path here began at the Rogue's Guild, and mayhap returning will spark something new within you. Bomb, bomb, bomb. And my return point is Limsa, because I actually enjoy Limsa. It's a very bright city. Okay, so... Do, 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 Fisherman's Guild. I could cut this part out, but it doesn't take very long. So... That said, I do have new stuff I may end up experimenting with. It really depends on how long this quest takes. I'll probably add the 52 one as well to this, in theory. Because this is more of a precursor to let you know where you're going to be getting your class quests. You looking to head inside? Yes. Yes. Also, I'm not actually using headphones, so if anybody notices a bit of an echo, please let me know. Because all of my headphones are a bit messed up. So, there shouldn't be any of my other tests. Uh, Captain Jack, it has been too long. I never did thank you properly for obtaining the ancestral garb of the shinobi. Oh, there, I was wondering when you'd show up, and you brought Katarina. How are you keeping, lass? Bene, bene. Now, I need a wid with a boro. There's a thief on the loose in Lanoshka who's fast, too fast to be a regular old rook. Hmm, you have my sympathies for your problem, of course, but why summon me? Well, as I was told, told it, the one doing the cloying ain't from Eorzea, came from the Far East, judging by the garb. How very strange. The journey is too long to be undertaken lightly. I wonder what drove them here. Who knows, who knows. But here's the rum thing, this cove's a ninja by all accounts. A ninja? <laughs> it's uncanny how much your thief sounds like me, Jack. Why, if I did not know better, I would say I was your culprit. Aye, so get your daddles where I can see them. Oh, training complete. Ignore that. <laughs> uh, couldn't help a bit of amusing there. Of course, I don't actually suspect you. Truthfully, I just wanted to see if you knew anything that could help me with the case. That I would be taken in by so obvious a ruse. Well, if the thief is a shinobi of Doman origin, then I might know him. Would you allow me to aid, allow me and Katarina to aid your investigation? With pleasure. Things will go a good bit smoother with a couple of dimba dambers like you on board. Why don't we go see what the victim's got to say about our rug, eh? Mulful Kefa's the cove we want, and we'll find him over at Summerford Farms. Ha, been a goodly while since our last job together, Katarina, and I'm looking to, forward to having you along. Ugh, reading this, reading his text, I forgot how much of a pain it was. That said, let's go have a bit of a uh, teleport to here. Because I really don't care about spending money on teleports, especially when the free company I'm in is using the reduced rates. And... There they are. Lollafell. 
And who, pray tell, are you? Yes, you, the gloomy looking fellow there. And these peop these are your people, Jack? Can they handle this matter with the guild's customary sensitivity? I reckon so. Katarina here is one of the guild's newer lasses, and her your gloomy looking cove is or a cult just joined up, so to speak. In that case, bring back my orb. It's one of a kind, and they stole it from me. Two nasty thieves of the Far Eastern looked to them, for I spent a bloody fortune on it. The nerve of those two falling upon me just as I was on my way here. The fiends ran to the northwest thrice as fast as my men could. I want them found and clapped in irons, damn it. Well, we best get after them, then. If they are foreigners, they won't know the lay of the land. May as well we can use that against them and catch up before they hop the twig. No need to be shy if it comes to blade work, but don't mill them either. We need to find out just why the rooks, rooks are cloying from honest folk. Mm, okay. Very well then. Wait a second here. Why is it so quiet? I have music on. Oops. See? BGM. Oh well. I don't actually know how long this is going to take. Footsteps heading to the northwest. I don't wish to join a fate. That bothering me. Uh, on a side note, I don't know how quickly I'll be getting these videos out because of, I've been sort of leveling my ninja. I haven't been doing it terribly fast. Uh, I've leveled other classes, so... Yes, you saw Fisher at 60. What are you going to do about it? And... We found a set of footsteps heading to the northwest. I don't know if that noise from outside, if you could hear it or not. I'm going to hope not. Actually, very rare that I have large, large, loud background noise outside. It could be large. Call the sound large if you wish. And two figures ahead in Wode Whisper Canyon. Really? All right then. I do have a poison equipped. Seems to have already knocked one out. That just looks like a marauder. I said it is dragon people. Curious. They're gonna jump, aren't they? I don't actually know what the name of that race is. Just know them as dragon people. Or dragonborn. Both because of, well, m mostly because of D&D. &D. But anyhow. Well, well, you're a Dimbermort, make no mistake. Why is it you have taken to Cloyan? <sighs> Never a tender wid for Jack, is there? No, it's always a stabber. Yes, that's her, the thief. Ha, a new take into this guild was right choice. Yes, I know I missed some words. Sadly, this means our relationship is at an end. It would be inconvenient if you were to learn how I came by the orb. So, sword, your skills are required. Alright, be me pleasure. Jack's one to be reckoned with, but not when he's got two fledglings at his side. A trusty trident will do for all. Do for them all. Well, them's choice wids from a double-crossed bastard. Either you mind being called fledglings? Not in the least. Be all the sweeter to make him eat those words. And he is a more fitting foe than some silent maiden. 
Har har har. Bluster and enrage all you want. You won't be going gently into the night. Har har har. Har har har. What? I don't actually have to fight? Well, we did you wrong, my Denver Mort. Seems we owe you an apology. You have my thanks, but I didn't need your aid for such brutes as these. Your bow, then it's true. You are from the Far East. Have we met by any chance? You seem familiar. <laughs> your accent marks you a shinobi. Kagi, explain the situation. You were the lot chasing us. Scary being chased, but, uh, right, why we're here. <laughs> this is Yatsurugi. Er, oh, apparently it's a whole This is Yatsurugi no Yuki. If I understand your customs, you'd call her Princess Yuki of the Yatsurugi clan. She's left her lands to search for her family's treasures. They were stolen by bandits, you see. The Yatsurugi clan? You are very far from your domain, Princess. Tell me, why make the journey? I have no time for talk, not while the identity of bandits still eludes me. You need only know that I have taken back three of the stolen treasures, and I will leave when the other two are mine. Very well. Your reasons are yours to keep, but I cannot leave you without a sworn dagger, Princess. And I know just the person to do it. Katerina, will you not aid in Princess Yuki's mission as her shinobi? As you know, we are blades, and missions are as whetstones to us. Though duty and service... For through duty and service, we sharpen our skills and our minds. This is the next step on your path. The princess is a stranger here. She can trust no one, save you. Your mission is to guard her with your life and return her safely to her people. What say you? And she's gone. <laughs> you think me naive enough to trust Shinobi? When Doma fell, we all saw your daggers in its back. Come, Akagi, leave the traitors. been like that ever since we got here. Why, she's barely let me pack her bloody clothes. I understand why she refuses my help when it comes to fighting, I suppose. I'm no warrior, but she does have her limits. Everyone does, pauper or princess, so I'd appreciate it if you'd lend me a hand keeping her, well, alive. Of course, my friend. If her life is in danger, send word here. Katerina and I will answer. I'm much obliged. You have no eye, but, uh, but I'd best go. She'll have my head if she catches me chatting. I'll be in touch. Well, at least he's a respectable fellow. Curious question is what she said. Biting back far eastern baubles, what was bitten, eh? We'll need to whittle more from that dastardly duo, I expect. The guild tip a daddle to track down the bandits that cloyed the treasures. Thank you, Jack. When you have something, you know where to find us. Shall we get around? Dun dun dun! Uh. Dock storehouse. Okay, looks like Rogue's Guild then, I suppose. And some little decks. At least I'm pretty sure. Click, click. Oh. oh. Oh, never mind. Dock storehouse is in over there. Right. Okay. It's the actual place where I found him the first time. Which I had to look up. Coming back to this game after a number of years and then needing to do class quests again, I had to look up where every single class quest began. The only one I didn't have an issue with was uh, Summoner and scholar because I actually started them when I came back. Like, my Arcanist is only 15, so I had to level it, but... Let's see what else he has to say. This is an interesting start, though. I think I might actually call this uh, good on its own. Whoops. 
So that said, it's partly because the throat's getting me a bit. I don't know, my throat's been a bit sore lately, so... Eh. But I really want to get my level 54 skill, so I will be recording more of these, but I consider this good enough for the moment. Uh, I had heard of Yuki Yatsurugi before, the pride of her clan, Toussaint Princess of the Far East. Even if a tenth of the rumors are true, she has no reason to die, or she has reason to die, all right. But somehow, you must earn her trust. Someday her life may depend on it. The path ahead of you is long. Your resolve cannot falter. I will help where I can, but from this day forth, you must devote your entire being to protecting Princess Yuki. Dun dun dun. Uh, upon reaching level 52, which I can do. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. But I'm going to call this good for now, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.